less than a mile from where we're standing right now, firefighters are engaged in a very active battle against flames. We chose this spot to broadcast live because we have cell service here and we need that to get our signal out, but we have been to the front lines of this fire. And here's a look. The Bear Fire is tearing through timber on steep slopes overlooking the Sierra Brooks community. This is a neighborhood just southeast of Loyalton, which is now under an evacuation order. The flames broke out on Labor Day during a period of red flag fire danger declared by the National Weather Service. The concern was proven correct as the combination of strong winds and low humidity allowed the fire to spread quickly. This prompted an aggressive response from firefighters led by the U.S. Forest Service. Onlookers just outside the evacuation zone were nervous but hopeful. Prayers, thoughts, all of that stuff. There's definitely a lot of homes out here. There's a lot of people. I think most of the fires are, if it's not lightning, they're person, set by person. Several firefighting helicopters and air tankers responded, including CAL FIRE's newly equipped C-130, dropping retardant on areas of the forest that lie between the flames and nearby homes. We saw dozers working in that same area, cutting containment line as daylight faded. They're working on very steep slopes, clearing away trees and vegetation, hoping to starve any flames that get that far. As darkness took hold, the wind died down, but the flames were not ready to call it quits. It's been a hot summer, everything dry, the fuels are really dry, and everything's susceptible of just going. And with the alignment, the country out there is real steep. This part of Sierra County last burned in 1994, and the trees that were planted as part of the rebirth of this forest are a lot of what we see burning now. In some places, firefighters are simply letting the flames burn themselves out. In this spot, for example, the fire burns right up to a road. Smith Neck Road provides a natural fire break. A bit of good news at the end of the day. The wind is calming down, and the battalion chief in charge of this area tells Fox 40 a lot of help is on the way from firefighters up and down the state. And the cause of this fire is under investigation, so authorities are not announcing what started it. As for the firefighting effort, that is going to continue through the night into tomorrow as we're still seeing resources coming here, including law enforcement, because the power is out in the evacuation area. So the Sierra County Sheriff's Office and allied agencies are actively patrolling, making sure no looters get in. Live in Sierra County, covering local news that matters, Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News.